So we're doing a documentary film yeah. about George Brown's role in Confederation. Oh, yes. So we're asking people on the street as part of a promo for our film right. what they think about Confederation and what they think about George Brown. So what would you say about George Brown if you had to give I'd, a quick I'd, description? I'd say George Brown was a great newspaper editor. He was a thoughtful journalist. He was originally opposed to Confederation. Then he saw the light. And as a grit, he decided to work with a Tory, put the country first. He's a great guy, deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, do you think, uh, like, George Brown, a lot of people forget about who he is. We ask about one in ten people only know about maybe who he is. Do you think that's a shame? Well, often the number two guy doesn't get remembered. Sir John A. gets all the credit. And Sir John A. deserves most of the credit because he was from Kingston and George Brown wasn't. That being said, George Brown deserves his day as well. Yeah, representation by population, that was a major democratic reform for Canada. He was really the first leader of the Reform Party yeah. in the sense that they believed in that more democratic approach. The Tory side was more interested in order and tradition, but together they made the country stronger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we're talking about Confederation, we're talking about George Brown. Do um, you think Canadians have a good idea of Confederation and what, like I see there's a sign over there that says, Celebrating Canada's birthday today, July 1st. You think Confederation people have a good a sense, a good idea? Probably not enough people understand how it came together. And, and we like to think, those of us who live in Kingston, that the idea of Canada really began when Upper and Lower Canada formed the province of Canada yeah. long before Confederation, and the first capital was in Kingston. So that's where it began. Sir Johnny was our member of Parliament, the distinguished MP, former alderman. And then he brought other people alongside. So it's the idea of working step by step respecting people's differences but building something stronger together that's the idea of confederation yeah do you think we should view canadian uh uh independence more in an evolutionary sense instead well, I mean, of a one well because it was evolutionary uh both in terms of responsible government yep. and also in terms of the statute of westminster in 1931 where we got control over our own foreign policy yeah, there wasn't so kind of a one stages. event it was more well, like a but that's the way canadians do things practically responsibly step by step thoughtfully we don't do things with a big bang, but in the end, our results are better than most. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, that was great, Hugh. Thank Thanks you. very Good much. Luck. Nice to see you. Yeah.